Hi, my name is Ayel Bordadi, and today we're going to talk about time travel. Most people think that time travel is impossible, but believe it or not, there is no law in physics preventing time travel. When you touch something, because it takes time for that information to get from the rest of your body to your brain, you don't feel it right away. In fact, the taller you are, the further back in the past you live. And also, because it takes time for light to reach our eyes, we can say that everything that we see around us technically exists in the past, which means that when you look at the sun, you're not seeing it as it is in that moment, but as it was 8 minutes 20 seconds ago. So if the sun were to suddenly disappear right now, it would take us 8 minutes 20 seconds to even see the effects of that disappearing sun. Traveling through time, as opposed to seeing through time, is a whole different story. In fact, we are all traveling through time right now at the speed of one hour per hour. You probably think that time is universal, that it is constant, that if you and your friend Donald had two perfectly synchronized clocks and Donald traveled on his private jet around the earth and came back, he would still have the same time on your clocks. But actually, you won't. Because Donald was traveling at a certain speed while you weren't, Time has actually passed slower for him than for you. So the faster you move, the slower time moves, which basically means you age slower when you move faster. When you move through space at a speed that is close to the speed of light, time goes slower for you than for the people you left behind. Say you're 15 when you left Earth in a spaceship that travels at 99.5% of the speed of light. When you come back at the age of 20, for example, you would find that all your friends are 65 years old. Because time passed more slowly for you, you would have experienced only 5 years, while your friends have experienced a full 50 years. So, if your journey began in 2017, it would have taken you only 5 years to travel to the year 2067. This means you have been time traveling. More surprisingly, if you could travel at the speed of light, time would just simply stop for you. The distance to anywhere you would want to go would be zero, but you just can't travel at the speed of light because the laws of physics basically don't allow it. Gravity also has a similar effect on time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. Since gravity has a stronger pull the closer you are to Earth, time actually travels slower at your feet than it does at your head. So yes, time travel is theoretically possible but it would take an infinite amount of energy for an object to even travel close to the speed of light.